Hello friends, today we are going to see the algorithm for selection sort. So let's take an example. So this is an array and this array contains these six elements. So in selection sort, there is a fixed pointer and there is a variable pointer V which always points to the next position of this fixed pointer. So if the, the value at the position of fixed pointer is greater than the variable pointer value, then we have to swap the positions. This is in case of sorting the list in increasing order. So let's see how to do this. So the here the value at fixed position is 8 and the value at variable uh, pointer position is 5. So let's compare these values. Yes. So 8 is greater than 5. This means we have to swap them. So 5 will come here and 8 will come here. Now variable pointer will increase. So now 5 will co be compared with 9. So 5 is less than 9. So there is no need of swapping now. Now again variable pointer will be incremented. So 5 is less than 10. So no need of swapping. Variable pointer will be incremented. 5 is greater than 2. So there should be swapping. So 2 will come here and 5 will come here. So now and variable pointer will be incremented. So 2 is compared with 1. Yes, 2 is greater than 1. So they will be swapped. 1 will come here and 2 will come here. And thus the first iteration ends. So now after the first pass, so the whenever the first pass ends, the least element in the array always comes at the top. So one is the least element which comes at the top and these are the five elements which we have to sort now. In the next pass as the first position is sorted the fixed pointer points to the second position and the variable pointer points to the next position of fixed pointer. So let's compare 8 is compared with 9, 8 is less than 9, so no swapping, variable pointer is incremented, 8 is compared with 10, so no swapping because it satisfies the condition. Now 8 is greater than 5, so there should be swapping. So 5 comes here and 8 comes here and variable pointer is increased. 5 is compared with 2, yes, there should be swapping. So 2 will come here and 5 will come here. So in the second pass, we got the second list element. So we will go to the next pass now. This is the third pass. I will write it here. This is the third pass. As you can see, first two positions are sorted. So our fixed pointer points to the third position and variable pointer points to the next position of the fixed pointer. So 9 is compared with 10, no need of swapping. 9 is compared with 8, yes, there is a need of swapping because fixed position value is greater than variable position value. 9 is greater than 8, so we swap. 8 will come here and 9 will come and variable pointer will increase. So now 8 is compared with 5, yes there is a need of swapping. So 5 and 8. So we got the third element, third list element here. So as the three positions are sorted in the fourth pass, the fixed pointer points to 10. So now uh, variable pointer points to the next position of the fixed pointer. So 10 is compared with 9. Yes, there is a need of swapping. 9 and 10. The variable pointer is incremented. 9 is compared with 8. Yes, there is a need of swapping. So, here it will come 8 and 9. 
and as we have got the first four positions sorted the fixed pointer will now point to the next position so now <coughs> uh, the variable pointer will point to the next position of the fixed pointer so compare 10 with 9 yes 10 is greater than 9 so we have to swap so 9 will come here and 10 will come here so this iteration uh, this pass ends here in the next pass we have five positions sorted now the fixed pointer will point to the last element but as this is the last element there is no need of comparison so straight away we have got all the elements sorted in the last pass so if you want to sort the array in decreasing order if you want to sort it in decreasing order then just one change will make it you have to swap the elements when the fixed position value is less than the variable position value and in this way you will get the array sorted in decreasing order the time complexity of the code will be o of n square as we need two loops for the fixed pointer one loop and the for the variable pointer the inner loop for the variable pointer the time complexity of the code is equal to o of n square because we need two loops here the first loop for the fixed pointer and the inner loop for the variable pointer so this is for selection sort and the full code you will get at github.com slash vivekanand44 hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you